Hello everyone, Layer Tech here, and today I have a tutorial on how to install Ubuntu on uh, a Windows virtual machine. This one will be Ubuntu server, but it works with uh, a lot of different versions. Anyways, the first step is to open your web browser. And on your web browser, you need to go to the first link in the video description. The link will lead you to my website and the whole tutorial will be here in a written format with pictures. So if there's something you don't understand in the video, you can just use this to, uh, to get a better understanding. So when you are on this website, you need to download the required programs and files. Simply open the, uh, the links or press on them and then uh, when you come to the Ubuntu server download page, just press download. And it will start to download and then you can close this page. And you go back to this page and you need to download VirtualBox and that's the second link. So then you just download it. Uh, Windows host. And there you go, it's downloading. Now when that is done, you can also close uh, this Oracle uh, website. So, when, when you're done with this, you can uh, put the ISO that you downloaded from Ubuntu, wherever you want. I will just put it on the desktop for the, to make it, make it easy. And uh, after that, simply press on VirtualBox to launch it. And as you can see, the installer will now start. So when you come to the first step, just simply press next. And you can change the install location if you want. I will just leave it at default and then press next. Here you can also decide if you want to keep this or not. Uh, I don't want to start many uh, entry, but the rest can be there. Uh, maybe not this either, but then you just press next and then you proceed with the installation and press yes. After that simply press install and let it install. When this box comes up you just simply press yes. And if it asks you to install a device, uh, just press install and accept. Uh, I did not get that this time, but sometimes it asks you about that. And then just press finish. And I had an old virtual machine here, I will remove it. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, and then... We are now, we now have VirtualBox installed and we're now going to create the virtual machine itself. So to create the virtual machine, uh, press on new and then name it whatever you want. I will name it uh, YT uh, tutorial. And then uh, change type here to Linux and uh, version to Ubuntu 64 bit if you're installing Ubuntu. And then after that simply press next. Here you can assign the amount of uh, memory you want. Uh, keep in mind that you can't put more memory than your actual computer has and uh, you should maybe have some to spare for your uh, your real OS. So I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, I will uh, put 4 gigabytes there. 
and you put it in megabytes um, and then press next after that you need to create a hard disk for it a virtual hard disk that is um, and so to create that simply press create a virtual disk now and then keep it at default and then uh, I will pick dynamically but you can uh, pick fixed the difference is that dynamic will uh, change the size depending on how much you use and a fixed size will always have uh, the same size so if you make it 10 gigabytes the file of the virtual machine will always be 10 but if you have dynamic and you only have a 5 gigab gigabyte file on the dynamic then the virtual machine file will only be 5 gigabytes and then you can expand uh, further so I will just choose this one and then I will give it a size I will just leave it at uh, let's say 20 and then here I can pick a location if I click on this button and uh, I will put it on a disk hard hard drive and then just put it in a folder I'll just name mine VM and then double click on it and then save so now it's creating a hard disk and then cre uh, press create after that um, we need to assign the ISO to the virtual machine and to do that simply right click on it and then select settings after that go into storage and uh, here you can see your controller IDE empty so press on empty here and then on the disk here click on it and then choose a virtual optical disk file you can see that it already has my file there so you can also press on it if you want but I will show you this method and then you go to your desktop where you put your Ubuntu server file before and then you just double click on it and then after that press ok now simply turn on the server or the virtual machine I mean and you do that by pressing the green arrow You can close these windows. And then I will just select windows. You can select whatever language you want it to be in. And then uh, layout. Uh, I don't have an English keyboard so I will change that and I will use identify keyboard to do that and then it will ask you a series of questions and then just do them so just press one of the following keys and you can see that it, it identified my keyboard and then just press ok after that press done and uh, simply press install Ubuntu and then enter uh, select done and enter select done and enter and then use an entire disk enter and then just enter and enter again and then select continue and enter enter in your name the server name uh, pick a username pick a password
and then select them. And when it asks you to reboot, simply press reboot. And then it asks you to remove the installation medium, uh, just press enter. And there you go, we are now in the virtual machine and it's uh, installed. So then you simply log in with the current credentials that you entered earlier and uh, you can just use the, uh, the Linux server like you want to. There's another thing I need to show you. Uh, you can close the virtual machine here and then you can either um, save the machine state, send the shutdown signal or power off the machine, I'll just power it off. And if you go into the virtual machine here and then you press on settings and then here you can go to uh, system and then processor you can change the amount of processing cores that it has uh, one is probably good if you're not gonna do any demanding tasks and stuff like that but if you're gonna do demanding things you might wanna uh, make this higher i usually put mine at four and keep it at like that and then just press ok and it will save so thank you for watching if you would like to see more videos like this please subscribe if you like the video please leave a like and if you have any issues leave a comment and i will do my best to help you